YouTube. This is a Moran's SR5300. It's going to be a quick review of one. This dude uh, came to me by a way of uh, not working. So one of the, th and this is how I picked up lots of these uh, early 2000 Moran's. This is the first time I've run into a 5300. This was their second to the bottom. Most of them that I pick up are, are way up there. They're big time premium and they are freaking huge and heavy. Um, so this one was <laughs> quite light actually. And I think it weighs like 35 pounds or something like that. It's, it's a heavy dude. Anyway, so uh, I have not run into one that did not work that was advertised not working. And usually what has happened is this button here has been pushed. It's called an analog digital. And so it'll say CD is assigned to digital number three. There is several digital ports in here. And of course, if I crank this, I'm getting no sound, but I do have it hooked up. And so what people will, will say is like some of the channels are working, some of them aren't or they'll just test the CD and it won't be working. Um, but then they'll say mysteriously, I can get sound on the tuner. So maybe uh, they'll list it as parts or they'll list it on Facebook Marketplace is not working or you know, even the thrift stores will, will have them occasionally and they'll have them in their scrap bins. So uh, this one, I can't remember where I picked it up. It's been sitting in, <laughs> in my shop for a really long time. Uh, but I've had it out the last couple of days and been listening to it. And I I would say outside of like the power output, it sounds like all the rest of them, just absolutely phenomenal. Let's put it back to analog there, get our sound going again. Anyway, so it has um, that, that digital uh, and analog. Make sure uh, that if you get one and it says it's not working, hit that button and I'll bet it turns right on. Uh, and then also there might be fuses in here. I've never had to change the fuses in one of these and I don't know, I've probably come across a dozen of them, maybe even more than that. It has S-Direct, um, which minimizes the circuitry between here and out. Uh, these speakers are, I use these as a test frequently. They're RCAs that were sold exclusively through Radio Shack. So the Radio Shack had their Minimus series. This would be the one, this is the big daddy to the Minimus series. And they usually sound pretty good. Like uh, I've done some testing recently of some more modern stereos and they sound just fine. They, they sound great. This, they sound phenomenal on this. Uh, and so, all right, so I'll just cut to the chase. It, I would highly recommend this amp. Anything from the early 2000s, I would recommend the Blackface aluminum front, uh, polished, uh, or I'm sorry, not polished, but this like kind of roughed up, kind of textured thing. It looks pretty cool to me, uh, but it's not silver face. So it's, it's in this awkward space where it doesn't have the modern features like Bluetooth, um, HDMI, um, doesn't even have a USB input. It's all these AV jacks. Uh, it does have the digital in, of course, so it was right on the cusp of that coming out. Um, so it's not a silver face. It doesn't have those features. It doesn't even have phono, um, which, by the way, I like I said, I, or I, I did test it with a phonograph, and it sounded great. So. Um, back thinking back these they're in the sweet spot where they're just cheap as sin uh so this right was six hundred dollars brand new uh back in 2003 and now you can pick one up a really really good example usually with the remote and maybe even the box the original box for like two 250 steal of a deal for the sound that you get out of this you would probably have to knock on the door of a thousand dollars for a new one that's even remotely uh, as powerful as these old old dudes are. And they're very reliable. Um, like I said, all the Marantzes that have come to me that said not working, uh, flip a switch and they were on. Uh, they sound awesome. So if you're in the market for one of these early 2000s, uh, 
this one might end up on eBay. I'm fairly certain it will. Um, I have a, a stack of them over here that I, I'm going to test, and I might end up keeping one of them, but I'm, I'm really in love with my Luxman, and uh, I just got a newer, brand brand new, spanking new 4700 Denon, and I'm really, I'm really liking it. So, uh, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.